everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you some stretches and exercises for an ACL tear that's either non-operative or a pre-op workout. All right, let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So the ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament, and it is the ligament in your knee that prevents it from sliding forward and backwards to give you that stability. So if it's torn, besides a lot of pain, a lot of times you have instability in that knee and it feels like it's wobbling when you walk and it can be really painful. So even if you're gonna have to have surgery, a lot of times it's a really good idea to do the stretches and exercises before because the more motion and strength you can have before surgery, the better your recovery is gonna be afterwards. So let's just start off with some simple stuff to get that knee moving, get some of that swelling and irritation out of there. The first one is just gonna be a heel slide. So the leg that you're gonna work, you're gonna put it all the way down and it's going to be just like it sounds. You're going to slide your heel up towards your bottom. So just bringing it up this way and then slowly coming back down. Now, if it's hurting, you might only be able to get to about here and that's okay. Just go give it a little push and then come back down. But you don't really want to force it through pain right now, especially if you have that tear in there. You just want to keep that movement that you can and get that circulation in there to help some of that swelling get out. So just start off with about 10 of these and then work your way up to more sets of 10 and then 20 to 25 if those become easy. And then coming back down. The next one is gonna be a quad set. With a quad set, what you're doing is squeezing that quad muscle, tightening it up to push that knee down into the ground. Sometimes people take a little towel to roll it up. If you have that tear and it's just happened recently, it might be really painful to straighten it all the way out. So putting a little towel roll might help. But otherwise you're gonna contract that muscle there, squeeze down just like you're trying to push your knee down into the ground. If you pull your toes up, that, that helps do that setting as well. Hold it for about three to five seconds and then relax. So you see how it's squeezing there to push down into the ground, holding it coming back up. Again, just start off with about 10 of those and then work your way up from there. The next one is just gonna be an ankle pump because even though stuff is going on at your knee, the muscles that move the ankle also come up around that knee. So you wanna make sure all that stuff is working and moving so it doesn't get tight on you. Just prop it up on something. You, foam rollers work really well. You don't have to use a foam roller. You can just put it off the edge of the bed or prop it up on a stool on the ground, but you want your heel to be free moving because you're just gonna push down and then come all the way back up. Try and keep your knees straight if you can. You saw mine try and bend a little bit, but just push down and then come up. And you're gonna be working these calf muscles in the back, the anterior muscles in the front, and just getting those moving. Again, making a natural pump, that's why it's called ankle pumps, to get that, that irritation, that swelling, inflammation, out of the leg back into your body. So with these, you can start off with more than just 10. You can go ahead and start off with 15 to 20 of them and do them several times throughout the day just to keep that swelling out of there. All right. The next one, we'll still use the roll for that, is gonna be, we call it a short arc quad, S-A-Q. Put the roll, or you can roll up a big towel and put it up under the knee. Just relax the knee. The knee's not gonna come up off of the roll. So this is nice because it helps to support the knee a little bit. And then you're just gonna try and straighten out your leg as much as you can, and then slowly come back down. Really try to control the coming back down. Don't just plop it back down. Besides it hurting a little bit, it's not actually working the muscle. So come up, kind of squeeze at the end. Again, squeezing that quad muscle, and then slowly come back down. Just start off again with 10 of these and then you can slowly work your way up after that. The next one is gonna be a straight leg raise. Most of the time you wanna start lying all the way down, but you can kind of prop yourself up as well. The higher up you go, the harder it is. So I'm just gonna kind of prop up on my elbows. Again, you wanna keep your knee as straight as you can, so kind of squeezing that quad muscle to lock the leg out. Also pull up your toes, because that helps keep everything nice and straight and then just slowly lift it up to about even of the other side and really control coming back down. Again, the coming back down is just as important as the going up, so make sure you're going nice and slow and controlled. 
Again, just starting off with 10 of these and then work your way up to about 20 to 25. If 20 to 25 becomes easy, then you can put a little bit of weight on your ankles, just starting off with like one pound. And then the last one is just a prop, a knee prop. And the reason you wanna do this is to try and get the motion in your knee here, because a lot of times after you have that tear, your knee doesn't wanna straighten out anymore. So again, taking a roll or sit in a chair and put another chair in front of you or an ottoman or a stool and just let it prop up there. So if your knee's feeling like this, gravity will help kind of straighten it out while you're propping it up there. Now again, this might be very uncomfortable when you first do it. You might just want to do it for 30 seconds to a minute, but then eventually work your way up to two minutes, five minutes, and hopefully it'll just start straightening out for you. So there you have it. Those are your stretches and exercises for an ACL tear non-operatively or pre-operatively. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you'd like to check out some other videos, go to AskDrJoe.com. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.